Hello everyone, it's Lottie from Cancer is a Lifestyle. So today I wanted to talk about my pantry and my hopes for, for my pantry. <laughs> I guess I should go back. Um, many years ago when I was a young lady, I and I mean a young lady, <laughs> with very small children, I ended up um, visiting a friend of our family who uh, actually had this really big beautiful home and let me get my hair. And, um, and as I'm sitting in her kitchen, she has this gorgeous walk-in pantry and I'm talking about a gorgeous walk-in pantry you could literally it, it's the size of some people's bathrooms I think <laughs> it was just really nice and she had so much stuff in it and I was just so wow that's what I want you know <laughs> that's what I want one day is to have a pantry full of stuff like that so you know of course it I, I didn't have a pantry for many many years and I think that's what attracted me to this apartment here when we uh, were looking for a place to live um, two years ago. This is our third, uh, actually this is our third winter. Um, but uh, let me adjust this a little bit. Yeah, this is our third winter um, because we moved during the winter time. So, but we're, our, we're here two years, December, last December. So um, when we came in here, it's not, I think it was the pantry that attracted me to the place. And I think it was the pantry that uh, made the decision for me to take the place because it is not a very, um, mm, <laughs> how can I say, it needs a lot of work. The apartment needs a lot of work. It's a, a little bit more square footage and the, the, the layout of it is different than what we were used to we were usually having the um the square or the rectangle style apartment layout and this one is just the length of it so uh the airflow during the summer is wonderful if you open up one window and open up the other window it's just a nice flow so uh we like the the length of it it looks so much bigger than what it really is um but I think it was the pantry, the walk-in pantry that sold me on it. And I was just in love with this pantry. <laughs> so anyway, so what ended up happening is uh, last year I decided that I wanted to stock up my pantry on, um, I wanted that prepper pantry that I've always dreamed of. And, um, and not because I think the end of the world is, and I don't think that preppers in general really, you know, I think they get a bad name and they uh, fill up things uh, their pantries but I think they're really trying to save money and you can save a lot of money by keeping a stock up pantry or like this a deep freeze that we had where we did not leave for a couple days you know uh, we didn't worry about food we had food in the pantry we didn't have any fresh fruit and vegetables because we ended up using those but uh, you could you, you had other foods in there a lot of grains and pastas and things like that so a pantry comes in handy the thing is that I happened is that last year I ended up uh, filling it with a lot of stuff that um, I thought was the appropriate foods so for instance I bought all kinds of beans I bought all kinds of uh, pastas I bought all kinds of grains and I'm by that I mean like um, uh, different rices and a uh, barley bulgur I mean like I, I tried all kinds of things all, all type of things, you know, farina and like just, you know, all kinds of things. And um, all, I bought all the dried fruits out there, apricot, dried apricots, dried figs, uh, you know, uh, dried pineapple, dried bananas. And it's like, uh, this, this is all I did was fill it up with stuff. Well, the problem that happened with that is, one, um, a lot of the stuff we didn't like and um you know like the bulgur or uh, you know you know what i ended up doing a lot of the greens i really didn't care for and um you know um living a vegetarian lifestyle especially like uh, you know for my for my daughter who's a vegetarian and 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 we are also pescatarians i mean we eat a lot of fish uh you know i'll still eat some meat but for her it's just totally healthy so what I ended up doing last year is I took a lot of the grains and I mixed them up together because I thought that you know the bulgur really doesn't taste good barley is good um, so I took like the barley and the bulgur and the 
I always say this wrong, Kino, you know, I always say it wrong. And I kind of mixed them all up together, the different rice, the jasmines, and, and all the other ones that were out there, the oat and uh, grains and things like that. And I mixed them up, um, and it actually, together, they tasted better. So it kind of looks like, look, like a mixture of wild rices and things like that. So I actually like doing this, and I'm going to continue doing this because I like that. So I have actually two batches like that, one in a jar and one in a container. Let me show you. I'm going to show you this for a reason, so excuse me. And, and one in a container like this. But I also took all the beans that we bought because I found that a lot of beans are, you know, it's kind of hard on our stomachs. But it's a good sense of fiber, right? I mean, it's a good sense of... Uh, uh, protein and fiber and all that you need especially if you're a vegetarian and you're not getting that meat right you're not getting in that so I would mix them up you can see over here I got lentils and black beans and lima beans and and then I would just kind of kidney beans so when I would um, cook them up you never had one of too many of the ones that you didn't like but yet you were getting your intake and actually I, I like doing this too and I end up I'm gonna continue doing that because I like that because it also kind of um, like I said this way you know uh, some of these beans we didn't care for and um, instead of eating lima beans uh, straight I can maybe get a mixture of different kinds of beans together so we do like doing that so but I, that's what I ended up doing and I found that a lot of things excuse me a lot of things I just we just didn't like that was one thing that was wrong uh, another thing is, since my radiation, um, I have uh, discovered, and my doctor himself has told me, even warned me about that, there's going to be certain things that are not going to be, my body's going to react to, meaning it's going to flush, it's going to be, um, it's going to go right through me, and by that it's not a pretty word, but I'm talking about like diarrhea and things like that. I was going to have attacks, and I would have to be careful. So uh, it's been two years that I've been in remission, and um, I am discovering what those foods are. And it's a lot of the stuff like dried fruit. I cannot have a lot of that, um, the dried figs and dried apricots. I have to be really careful how many I eat. Even though they are good for you and you can make a lot of different uh, dishes and it's good as snacks, I can't really eat it like a snack. I can only eat it mixed in with other things. So I'm, I'm learning all these things, right? Hold on a second, please. I'm sorry, I had to pause for a minute. <laughs> okay, so where was I? So this pantry idea that I had, um, I ended up realizing that it, that I, I just made some mistakes with it. And I think what I did is um, I realized that what I was looking at other people's pantries and I was trying to replicate their pantries. And, um, and I think what it is is that I need to make a pantry for me and what works for me, what my needs are, what actually I want to have in there. So this is where it leads me to. So I feel like my pantry was not a success, but yet a success because um, I did start one. I just realized, um, and uh, well, one that I started, of course, and second that I, I it all the mistakes that maybe I made and, and I purchased things that are still sitting there perhaps, you know, and uh, all this time and I'm I don't even care for um, at least I realize what I do want right now so these are what I'm my goals for the month of February now it also going back to my yearly goal if you remember I want it to be debt free uh, and I wanted to uh, simplify my life purge myself of things um, so it's going to that too to what I wanted so I wanted for the month of February what I want to do is I want to kind of use up the things that are in my pantry now I'm not going to use up everything right but I want to go through them for one thing I want to be able to uh, you know incorporate some of these items that I don't really care for but kind of make different meals out of them and I'll kind of use up what I don't have what I don't want anymore I want to use that up if I can I want to clean it up and I want to keep things in there that I want. And that's the, something that I'm going to do is I'm going to sit down and I am actually going to make a list of the things that I do want in my pantry. Okay. So my goals for this month, hold on, let me get my list 
um, is that um, I don't want to purchase any more grains or anything, anything that goes in the pantry. I don't want to purchase any more items for this whole month. I want to use up what I have in there. And I don't mean like my pastas or the things that I like, like I like polenta. I want to leave that. I want to do the things that I don't care for, okay? I want to clean it up. I want to organize it. And um, the things that I have in there, I also want to change up. I actually find, excuse me, that I like the glass jars a lot better, I think, than uh, maybe the containers. Although I do have containers, the ones that I showed you with the pink lid, um, I do want to put more effort into what I want to keep. So I'm going to make a list of that in the coming month. I want to use up uh, what I have in there in my cooking, which today I'm going to be cooking up um, some of this um, mixture here, along with our salad and some fish that we're going to have some fish for today. But I am going to have an exception that the grocery supplies that I buy will be for the refrigerator only. That's going to be my goal. Now, of course, I'm sure there's going to be times that I'm going to need certain things, which I, that's why I made a, a list of, there's going to be like three things that I will allow myself to buy. And that's, I'm, I, I need tomato sauce, I need tuna, and jello. Those are the three things that I will allow myself to buy for this month. And, um, yeah, so that is, that's what my goal is this month, is to go through that pantry, kind of sit down, make a list of all the things that I want to keep in there, and keep it and that's what I want to I want to have that kind of a pantry and then I'll show you I actually did, did take pictures of it last year um, for my writing blog my blog that I write and because I talked about it when I organized it the first time and of all the things that I bought in there and all and um, I took pictures on it if you wanted to go on my blog and, and um, you know read some of that or look at it you can see what my pantry looks like maybe once I'm done cleaning it because uh, my pantry is, is got other stuff in there besides food. Okay, I have it's my appliances are in there and vacuum cleaner, dust pans, you know that kind of thing. And so uh, it's the cleanup of it is going to take a lot longer than just this month. You know what I mean? It's going to take. Remember, I have a whole year to do this stuff. You can see that the light is changing here already. And also, um, what I wanted to uh, talk about now. Like I said before, I go I go to two main stores that I um, that I do shopping at, and that is the fruit market and Costco in bulk buying, bulk buying. So, uh, and I go to Aldi about twice a year, and I, I buy certain things. I do not buy canned goods at all. I, the only thing I do, like I said, I, I I mentioned this before. It's tuna and tomato sauce that I buy in cans, and some fruit cocktails sometimes. And that's about it. And uh, Walmart, if you see my um, my hauls from them, Walmart to us is really like a last minute store that we go shopping to. It's right by our house, which is a big mistake that it's right by the house because I find myself running there, which is another thing that I wanted to do for this start, go back to this month is uh, stop this random buying that I've been doing. And uh, I, I was really good. A few years back, I took Dave Ramsey's financial class, and I really um, incorporated a lot of what I learned. It was a nine-week nine week course that I took at my church, and uh, every Sunday, I think we met for like an hour and a half, or was it maybe two and a half hours? I, it was in the evening, and we didn't get out till like nine and started at 6.30 or something. I don't know, something like that. It was a long time, and um, for nine weeks. And I really learned how to shop, and I was really good for all these past years. And it's something about when we moved here, these two years, this is where um, the mess began, where we collected and went back to our old ways here. And I think that's because around here, we are just surrounded by stores. There is shopping mall, there is little marts, there's like all this, and, and you know, there's that Walmart like five minutes from here. So what do you do? Walmart, we have a tendency, oh, we need bananas. Oh, well, let's just go to the store, go to Walmart. Go to Walmart, get bananas, and you get five other things. They, you know, do you really need that? Oh, my gosh. So I need to go back to my, you know, my list, which I have hanging on my refrigerator. I showed you that in the other vlog. And this is where I do not veer off the list. I need to stop. So for this month, 
that's going to be my goal for this month of February is I need to one I'm not going to buy any more groceries or anything for the pantry the pantry is the way it is that's what it's, you're going to have I got to use my pantry for food the only groceries I will buy will be what goes into the refrigerator which is the fresh fruit vegetables and any frozen uh, like you know our fish and uh, you know our bread or that you know we put in the freezer anything that goes in the pantry we're not using that it's not going to happen or or um like supplies like for cleaning or things like that but i don't see that happening except for drain old that i've been <laughs> looking for at costco um that's about it because i i pretty much have everything garbage bags toilet paper things like that so we're not going to do that except for of course tuna jello and tomato sauce are the only things that if i run out of i'm getting that's it otherwise that's the whole thing and then we're going to reorganize our pant food pantry. We're going to clean it up. We're going to and make a list of what we want to keep in our pantry. Yeah. Let's see what else that I wanted to talk about. Oh, yeah. So that's my February goals. That's what I want to do with my pantry and all. And it, like I said, it ties in with my living simplification. You know, ever since I've had my cancer, and this is another thing I wanted to point out. It's been it's going to be 12 years and on May 25th when I was diagnosed with ovarian stage 3 cancer. And since that, it's come back four times. I've been in remission now for four, uh, excuse me, for two years. And, um, yeah, oh, excuse me, I moved my camera. You know, so it's not the longest I've been in remission. The one time, the first time I was in remission for four and a half years. But two years is pretty good uh, because after that, it would be like every year or I think once it was seven months. So um, two years is a pretty good deal. So the whole point of my life, my cancer as a lifestyle, is I am living with my cancer. I want to show people that um, you can live a very productive life. You can live a very purposeful life. It doesn't matter if you have an illness or if you have a handicap. It... Um, you are not a victim you can still live now my mobility isn't what it was i have a lot of other you know side effects from the cancer uh, from the um, chemotherapy radiation really set me back quite a bit but that last treatment even though it was very harsh on my body i mean two years in remission is absolutely wonderful trust me it is just wonderful I, I never thought that this would, that I, you know, would ever go back to, like I did the first year with four and a half. I mean, this might, I might actually make it for, I mean, who knows? But, you know, two years is really nice. And for the first time in these, you know, almost 12 years, I, I don't have to go back every three months for um, testinal. This is the first time, first time that I only have to go twice a year. This is a miracle as far as I'm concerned. And that involves my lifestyle. And that involves how I eat, how I live, how I socialize. Um, and like my ministry that I talk about or my blog that I write. All of this came from my cancer. It came. This is what came from then. I never did any of these things before my cancer. So a lot of my channel, you may think that, you know, wow, it's just it's so diverse it's diverse because my life this is how my life has evolved since my diagnosis and let me tell you i look at uh like wanda from rolling ro rolling through life and you know she's like my role model you can still lead a very purposeful life it's not the end of the world you can yeah we're in pain yeah we have to go through trials and things are a lot harder for us but we can still so I, I, I always try to urge people who have an illness or have a chronic illness or a disability of any kind or you have cancer, you, I mean, go out there and live your life. Quality of life is everything, let me tell you. Quality of life is everything. I, I cannot tell you how many people um, are amazed that I'm still working uh, or that I'm not. And I thank God for that because I know there's going to come a time and there was a, a, a time this last time that I really thought that, you know, with my last treatment that I might not make, that, you know what, I might have to go on disability. 
I've seriously, seriously thought it, that this was going to be. And I often wonder, because it was so difficult for me to recover this last time, and the side effects that, uh, you know, happen on my body, um, I really makes me kind of think that, you know, just if, it, you know, if I go into um, treatment again for the fifth time, it, it might really do a number on me where I may have to go into disability. So this whole whatever I'm doing on this channel is just really like my, you know, I had to sit down and really think about, you know, my future and uh, what did I want to do with my life. I had to prepare myself, you know, so what are the things that are important to me with my cancer? Well, I want to be as active as possible. I want to be able to take care of myself. I want to do my ministry, continue doing my ministry. I want to continue writing. I need to eat healthier and I need to save money you know that is going to be a huge issue so I know it sounds like you know a lot of things that I'm showing are like why are you showing that the, uh, everything that I show here it all has to do with my 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 lifestyle with cancer you know even the little treasures and all I want to leave things behind for the people in my life that's why the, a lot of these things are very important to me so I'm sorry for babbling on and all. I will get, do you give an update on this uh, pantry issue <laughs> once I write down and kind of sit down and have time to, excuse me, um, uh, write about what exactly I want in my pantry. And um, and I'm just wanna, I just wanna point that out once more that I think a lot of the, and I, well, I love YouTube and I think it's absolutely fantastic that you can look up anything anything you want but I think that sometimes um, we look at the channels and we want to do what they have and you know so I think my mistake with my pantry the first time around was I put in that what applied to everybody else and not what I needed to me so just remember that you know, it's not about you know whatever you want to put in your pantry or whatever you want to call it your preppers or whatever it all pertains to what you like, what you need in life. And uh, just because, for instance, I don't like canned food or whatever, well, maybe you do. And so that's okay if that's what's right for you. So that's what we're going to be redoing. That's my goal. And, uh, yeah, I'll give you an update on that as soon as I get myself situated. And uh, we'll see how it goes. So we're going to start today. It's February 2nd. I don't know where I'm going to be able to post this one. So, um probably tomorrow or we'll see when it goes and uh so thank you so much for watching if you haven't subscribed please do so look i got an alfalfa but look at my attention span people <laughs> i have an alfalfa <laughs> if you uh haven't um if you like this video please please click like um uh, comment below do you have a pantry what do you put in it uh, have you made mistakes like I did and ended up stocking up with things that you don't really need? <laughs> so I would really like to hear your mistakes. I think we post so many of, oh, look at my pantry, look at my haul, look at my thing. But you know what? A lot of this stuff is, I think, a mistake. So um, I would love to hear that. So have a great day, everyone. Have a good night. Bye-bye.